the Lakers win their last scrimmage and beat the Washington Wizards 123 to 116. Now, this was basically a G League game. Frank Vogel pretty much rested all his starters, but they got the W. Anything against the Wizards, uh, kind of have to grade with the curve because let's face it, it's the Wizards. Without John Wall, Bradley Beal, or even Bertans. But the Lakers were pretty impressive. It was a really balanced game. We finally got to see Alex Caruso play for an extended period of time. Last game, he fouled out, so yeah, but he was actually one of the best players in this game. He finished with 17 points and six assists. He was shooting well from three. He shot three or four from distance. And if Russo can hit his threes, man, that's gonna be really tough for the other team. Marcus Morris finally got to play, which was awesome. He was gone for a while. But the standouts, I think, were the new guys, J.R. Smith and Dion Waiters. J.R. Smith finished with 20 points and he shot six from seven from three point distance. And a lot of the shots he was taking were tough shots. Like double clutch, contested threes, even mid range shots. This is like vintage J.R. Smith. If we can get this on a nightly basis, oh my goodness, this is another weapon that the Lakers can use. I doubt that he's gonna do this consistently, but you know, that's just another option that the Lakers can throw out there. So far, he's showing that he was a really good signing. And Dion Waiters, whoo! He finished with 18 points, six assists. He was creating for others, he was creating for himself. And he too was making tough shots. And he was clutch again in this game. In the playoffs, that's gonna be very important. We need guys that can create their own shots and just make tough shots when the offense breaks down. In the playoffs, it's gonna be much harder to score. You're not gonna be able to get into your sets. The defense is gonna plan for you. They're gonna be used to guarding your offense. So having guys that can create for themselves, that can make and take tough shots, that's gonna be really important. So far, they've shown that they can do that. And Quinn Cook continues to impress me. He finished with 12 points. He was scoring in a variety of ways. So when we signed him, pretty much got him for his shooting ability from three, but he's showing that he's pretty versatile. I'm impressed with how well he handles the ball, how comfortable he is running the show with the ball in his hands. Caruso might have some competition for that backup guard role. That's good, that's healthy competition. Devontae Kaycock, man. Now this guy, I don't know how well he'll do in the playoffs, but he's been doing well. He finished with 11 points and nine rebounds in just 13 minutes. But again, not too much to take away from this game, being a scrimmage and all. Pretty much all the key players resting. It is nice to get the win though, and the scrimmage is off in a good way, on a positive note. But the real thing happens next week against the Clippers and oh my goodness like what what's going on with what's going on with that team huh like well I thought we were the dysfunctional drama queens look at those guys over there everybody leaving for excused absences I mean I think they do have legit excuses like I'm not trying to pry into their business but <laughs> Lou Williams but like really <laughs> that was your excuse absence you gotta gotta go to the strip club huh all right whatever but i ain't trying to hear no excuses when they get pounced like oh the williams wasn't playing Montres harrell wasn't cleared zubats are starting center our bench was all gone so that's why we lost no i ain't trying to hear that no one said you had to go to the strip club but alex caruso here missing his own sister's wedding because he's dedicated to the team, all right? This Clipper squad trying to act like they're grit and grind and they're like the blue-collared people. Hell no, okay? 
It's all about the Lake Show. They're all about that business. And we're about to hand you guys that business. Are you guys ready, Laker fans? Oh my goodness, I'm getting pumped up. Let's go.